As you may know, I make a lot of videos on money making, but the one thing I've always been good at is understanding what impact an update will have on the economy and making money from it. And this week we have had one of the biggest in the history of old school RuneScape. This is going to open up possibly the greatest ever money maker, which is probably only comparable to the Chamber of Zarek when it was first released and the money you can make from Dead Man. And best of all, it has absolutely no requirements. Group Iron Man is being released and tens of thousands of players will play an Iron Man account, but Iron Men can't trade, so what could you possibly do? Well some Iron Men do, and they buy and sell things by using their main accounts to trade. And there is one thing that most of them really, really want, the Dragon Impling. This is because Dragon Implings give a lot of items that are otherwise very, very difficult to obtain in the game. And the best thing about Dragon Implings is you don't need to trade anything. You simply spot an Impling, tell a buyer, and Iron Man catches it, and then they pay you on the main for spotting it for them. Normally the price of spotting a Dragon Impling is between 500k and 3 mil each one, which on its own is already one of the best money makers in the game. And you can do that in the Discord, The Grotto, which I've linked below in the description. However, once tens of thousands of new Iron Men start competing for them, the price is quite frankly going to go absolutely crazy, especially for the first few months when group Iron Men compete against each other for the top spots. Now I have sold raid layouts, and many many times when two people with a lot of money on, the best ones can go for 50 million for just one layout. So these prices may go absolutely crazy, but I've been realistic with what I expect them to be. The absolute minimum I expect these to go for in the first few months of Group Iron Man is 5 million each. And during peak times, which is normally the evening UK time, it wouldn't surprise me in the least if people were paying as much as 20 million for each one. The best part about this is on one account alone, in a decent dragon impling spot, you can get around two per hour, meaning that is 10 to 40 million per hour on each account. But it gets even better, because implings have spawn areas all over Gilanor, and you can simply camp on and hot worlds until you find a dragon impling, making it extremely AFK. Because of this, you can do this on up to six accounts, whilst you wait for the delay hopping worlds on each one. That means you could make an unreal 60 million to 240 million per hour doing this method for the next few months. Now I have already done a guide on Dragon and Lucky Impling hunting, so feel free to check that out. However, this is the best current map of all Dragon Impling spawns, but the best places are generally those not on this map that you find yourself, and most are in Core End, as the map only includes four spots there. But there are many, many more. These first two places are the best I have found and normally you get around two dragon implings per hour. However, how many people are scouting is key to how many you will find in these areas. The pens in the northwest of the gnome stronghold mean implings get stuck here. And there's absolutely tons of them as you are hopping worlds but this spot is well camped and you will be sharing the dragon implings. And even though there are probably 8 to 10 dragon implings per hour you will probably only get two because you are sharing them. The next spot is west of sleep on the path and prior to my impling video I was the only one that was ever here and sometimes I would see up to three implings each world just standing in the same spot and hopping. These next areas I generally get around one impling per hour and the first one is just outside the chambers of Zarek. I always see dragon implings here when raiding and it may even be as high as two per hour but occasionally they fly around the back where you can't get them and there's also a lot of max players here in this area that may catch any you spot. This spot is just outside of Alcarid and it has a lot of impling spawns here but is right by the dual arena, mine and fire altar so a lot of people walk this way who also spot them. Lastly, these three spawns will normally get you an impling every hour and a half to two hours each one. There are also a number of spawns in Lumbridge but these generally require you to move around a bit more. However, I have found if you go to the east of the cow pen you see a lot of the Alcarid spawn as well as any that gets stuck in this pen here. Another decent spot is the Corrin Castle. It's just like other places that implings can get stuck and get caught in here. 
However, there's only one spawn close by, so you don't get as many in this area. And the next spot is the whole of White Wolf Mountain, which is a decent spot, but the main issue I found here is it can be a pain following it when it flies away due to the pathing on the mountain. However, as I said, the best possible place to do this is by scouting spots that no one else camps. Anytime you see an impling, pop worlds where you see it. And if you find implings on lots of worlds, you may have just found an even better spot that no one else knows about. Money making methods this good rarely come up and the prices won't last forever, but I hope you all make an absolute ton of money from it.